often when I tell someone I'm an astrophysicist, they'll say, okay, well that's interesting, goodbye, I'm not going to talk to you because that's very scary. Or they might say, oh, so astrology, so what star sign are you? So I don't get too upset if you do that to me, but if you would to my friends, they would get pretty insulted and be like, no, it's not astrology, we're talking about astronomy, which is one of the most ancient sciences, if not the most ancient science, of just looking up at the stars, wondering where we come from, how do we exist, and how is the universe come to be, which as well is cosmology, so taking the Big Bang, for example, quite a new theory, um, but just trying to understand the universe and put everything together from all of the information that we have. And a recent term is astrophysics, only about 150 years old, and basically we're just applying physics to the light that we observe when we look up at the sky. And what we're trying to do is get as much information as possible. We can't physically go out there, generally, and touch the stars and learn about them. So we just have the light. So this is the Liverpool telescope, known as the LT. It is not in Liverpool, because you wouldn't see very much from here. Um, it's currently frozen and it's in the Canary Islands. But if we put a telescope in space, we can get absolutely amazing imagery. We can also do that from the ground, but it's easier without the Earth's atmosphere. And we can do all sorts of observations. This is another different observatory called the SDO, and we're just looking in different energies so different temperatures of the sun reveal a lot of different information. And, for example, this is ex the oldest light of the universe. It's very cold. And what we're trying to understand with this, this is more cosmology and dark matter and dark energy and all of those cool words that you've heard of and don't understand. Me neither. Um, and here... It is another example, exoplanets are very fashionable today. And we've even managed to observe the rings around the star where we think the exoplanets probably are. And we can, using the light, we can split it up into different energies. That's a spectra. And basically where you have parts of the spectrum missing, we know that there are elements there and what it's made up of. We can also look at dips in the light. So when a planet goes in front of a star, some of the light gets cut out. And we can learn about the size of the dip, how big the star is, how much it weighs, and all sorts of things. This is an example of dying stars, supernova. And if you look at how much light is coming off from the star as it's, after it's dead, you can work out what kind of supernova it was what it was before it died. This is the supernova, uh, not the supernova, black hole at the centre of the Milky Way. Um, and this is just plotting the stars as they move around, just following the light that it gives off and as it goes around the black hole at the centre of the Milky Way. And from that, you can work out how massive the, the black hole is. So there's all sorts you can do with observing and looking at the light, but also we need a lot of theory. We need Einstein and Hawking and all of those people to work out the equations to make predictions, which recently gravitational waves um, was proved as being a thing, which was very exciting. And also things like black holes, we can use the science and we can put it in a film like Interstellar and everyone goes crazy for it. Um, light gets bent by these heavy, massive black holes, and we can observe that. This is an eagle simulation, which actually we use a lot at John Moores in our department, and this traces the gas of the universe. And with simulations, you can basically do whatever time. You're not stuck looking only just now. You can predict what happened before and after. And so my question is why is astrophysics important? It is because we want to understand who we are, where we came from. We want to have a bigger ex 
perspective of where we are and not just our day-to-day -day lives. Thank you.